นะโมพุทธายะนะโมธรรมายะนะโมสังฆายะ Welcome to our new topics. My topic today is about the five precepts of Buddhism for the peaceful world. In Vietnamese, we say Ngo y ớ i Tong Đạo Phật. We w a r e Bình Thế g i ớ i I would send a message to the world, including my devotees, Buddhists and non-Buddhists, that we are had the same concept that we need our world. Being peacefulness, we don't need the war at all because the war is nothing get the benefits to our world, but is always destroys our worlds and also. Bring us the f u l l s of suffering. So, to protect the world, I suggest I suggest all of you to follow the five precepts of Buddhism. The aims of My topic is to protect our world, to protect our own property, to protect our family, to protect our truth, w o r d s and to protect our self. The definition, the definitions of the five precepts are the five precepts are the human being virtues. It means not for anyone or for any. Group or uh, any belief, but the five precepts are for everyone in this world. And the second definitions of this precept it should be the virtues. The five precepts of Buddhism are the virtues for the good people. The five precepts of Buddhism are not to kill, not to steal, not to uh, sexual misconduct. Not to tell a lie, and not to drink alcohol or enjoy cigarettes, and according to Theravada Buddhist. t r a n d i t i o n the five precepts become the common remind and practice in daily life. Every ceremony in the Theravada temples before we start to 
with a dana or to do the good things like practice practicing meditation and giving a sermon or a satama talk usually we require our people to receive the five precepts first almost the ceremonies and even should be start from receiving the five precepts receiving the five precepts we consider as we as we clean our house before we clean our house we should sweep our house first and like before we do things the donation before we give a dharma talk before we practicing meditation we should we should pure we should purify our moral first mean that in the theravada buddhist tradition we should speak we should think we should so do any actions with our pure virtues the five precepts points out the percentage of the good people if you if you break if you break the first precept not to care it means that you lost the stake of people for 20 person if you break the second the third the fourth and the fifth is mean that the values of the good people in yourself are lost are lost one hand is persons mean that even to live this life as the human being as a people but you already lost you already lost the virtues of the good one hand is person is mean is mean that because of you break the rule from number one to kill a people to the last one uh, to drink alcohol until you out of controlling yourself or uh, till you don't know who you are and don't know what is right and what is wrong you are lost the virtues of the good people the for one hand is person because of eight rules is rule in the five precepts equal to 20% of the good people and the five precepts are the cause to create the five dhammas for example if you follow the rule number one not to kill it means that you are cultivate your 
loving kindness and compassion uh, with sin. If you follow the rules number two, not to steal, it means you are not a desires person, not a clinging person, and you can protect your own properties. If you are follow the rule number three is not to sexual misconduct, it means that you live a life with the the with the moderations in sexual conduct, it means that you love, you respond, you take responsibilities only your own wife or your own husband. This, this is the way to protect your families, and I understand that you all need this rule and you all can practice this rule number three well. If you follow the rule number four in the five precepts of Buddhism, not to tell a lies, it means that you are the truth person. You can protect your truth first, and you can make other people believe in you. Believe what you said, what you don't. As the Buddhist, the Buddhist life and work, and he used to claim to the world that yatha, vati, tatha, kari. Yatha kari tatha vati. It means that the Buddha done what he said, and the Buddha said what he done. And nowadays, even the Buddha passing the way for two thousand five hundred. Uh, 60, 67 years ago, but his word, his truth of words always exists in the past, in the past, perceptions and in the perceptions and in the concepts of his followers. For the last rule, that is the rule number f number five, not to drink alcohols or entertain. It means that you are developing your mindfulness. You are develop the ability to know what is happenings surround you at the present moment. And the Buddhas appreciate the rule number five most. If one who follows and strictly follow the fifth rule, not to drink all kinds of alcohol till you lose you lost control your lost shell controls if you don't break this rule number fifth mean that 
you are be able to protect yourself well and for the outcomes of following the five precepts of Buddhism. As the Buddha mentions in the Bali term that <coughs> that Silena Sukating Yanti Silena Po Kasampatha Silena Nipputing Yanti It means that if you strictly follow the five precepts of Buddhism, first you will become a people who uh, have the properties and pools of the wealthies, mean that become the rich people because of the Bali term Selena Poka Sampatha. And if you is reborn in the next life, you will be reborn in the families that full of happiness mean that you have enough conditions to be grow up uh, to learn to educate and to be success in life and lead your life to be happy and next you can attain the nipana the extreme happiness because of conduct the five precepts of buddhism so because of the world nowadays needs all of us to contribute for the peaceful world mean that we have to think with the positive thinking to create to be a creative and innovations enough to contribute for the world peace because nowadays the world citizens face with a lot of problems of sufferings because of the war I don't know how we name this war the war the world war three or not I don't know but I I just rely that our world today is not the complete world of peacefulness. Well, I'm giving a Dhamma talk in English on the particular topics of the five precepts of Buddhism for the peaceful world. All the, all the conditions, all the countries now are, have the walls and the people are paintings and the people, okay, those peoples are yet suffering. So I recall to the wall, especially our our Buddhists and also non-Buddhists, please put down put down the wall and also put down your head speaks 
put down your violence in actions in space and in toss and face up the five precepts of Buddhism or the five precepts including not to kill, not to steal, not to sexual misconduct, not to tell a lie, and not to drink alcohol till you lost control, you lost control of yourself. And anywhere that you think that are uh, better than conduct the five precepts of Buddhism, yeah, you can apply to our world to create the peaceful world to maintain and to protect our world peace for you yourselves and for your next generation, especially our next generations. If we can hear their voice, I think that they will talk to us that they need peaceful world and absolutely they don't need any kinds of war that bring them to be painful and full of suffering. So, at the end of my talk, I hope that you can love yourself more and share your love to the world by nothing to break the five precepts of Buddhism, especially the first rule, the rule number one, not to kill the people, including not to kill any being because you and they are the same. We need lives and we need to survive our lives. Please love yourself, protect yourself, and love others, protect others. May all of you be free from sufferings. May our world be peace and happy. Namo buddhaya.